Hi, I'm going to show you how to fill out a vocabulary worksheet. Um, so you're going to have a little picture, and I posted mine on my computer. You're going to have a little picture of our vocabulary words. This is up in the classroom, and I took a picture of it, and I will post it on your assignment. So I have the vocabulary word on a yellow card, and then I have the definition on a sentence strip, and then I have the synonym. I do not have the parts of speech up there. They are on your vocabulary diamond. So I wrote down the words. I just was looking at this list, and I wrote the words on a piece of paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in ABC order, in alphabetical order. So I'm looking for the word that comes first in the alphabet. So I would have comfort or citizen both start with C's. And I'm going to put citizen first because C-I comes before C-O. So this is going to be word number one. This is going to be word number two. Uh, let's see. Then I have an I. So that's probably going to be, I have intends, which starts with, an I, and then I have, let's see, next is L-M-N-O-P, so M comes next, so that's going to come in fourth in alphabetical order, and then P is next, and I have peculiar and positive. This is P-O, this is P-E, so this comes in as fifth, because E comes before O in the alphabet, this comes in sixth, and then P, Q, R, S, R comes next, so this is seven, and this is eight. So it's really important to figure out alphabetical order and to do it correctly, because if you miss alphabetical order on this page, you're probably going to miss a lot more than that. So once you have your vocabulary diamond done, you can go ahead and write your name at the top. I am working on week two, right next to the octopus. Word number one we said was citizen, so I'm gonna write citizen in here. Word number two was comfort, so I'm gonna write comfort. Word number three was intends. Word number four was mention. Word number five was peculiar. And you have to spell them correctly, so I'm being very careful and looking on my list to spell them correctly. Word number six is positive. Word number seven is resident. Word number eight is talent. And there I have them all in alphabetical order. Just to double check, CI comes before CO. Next is the letter I in the alphabet. Then M. Then PE comes before PO. RE and then TA. So remember, if you don't know alphabetical order, you can write the letters of the alphabet down, A, B, C, D, E, right? If you do this in the classroom, it's awesome because I have an alphabet chart, but you don't have that at home, so you might have to do that, or you might have to sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and I got to be honest with you, sometimes, even though I'm an old lady, I still sing that to remember what order they go in. All right, then I'm gonna put the parts of speech. The part of speech of citizen, I'm looking on my vocabulary diamond and it's a noun. The part of speech of comfort is, in this case, comfort is a verb. The part of speech of intends is a verb. The part of speech of number four, mention, is a verb. The part of speech of peculiar is an adjective, so under number five I'm putting adjective. 
So do you guys see that the numbers have to match up? Five goes with five, six goes with six, right? So positive is um, an adjective. And then number seven, resident, is a noun. Number eight, talent, is a noun. Right, so you can just use your vocabulary diamond. I don't have mine here with me, but you could have it right next door to you and that would help you. And then down here, we're gonna write the definitions. You can also use, I'm just using this to write the definitions, right? So number one, I'm writing the definition for citizen and the definition for citizen is a member of a state. So I'm writing citizen is number one, it's a noun, so I have a noun on number one, and then down here, I'm going to have, um, we said it was a member of a state. It's kind of hard for me to write and film at the same time with my phone. So sorry about that. Also, my writing is pretty messy because I'm <laughs> doing too many things at the same time. Uh, number two is comfort. We said comfort was a verb, so we're writing the um, we're writing comfort down here. The definition and on my chart it says the comfort is to soothe or reassure. Now, I'm not giving you a test on the vocabulary words. Um, if we were in class, I would be doing that. So it's really important that you get this right. This is sort of like your test. I just want you to know the words really well and to be really accomplished at word study. Okay, number three is got to match intends, right? Because intends is number three. It's a verb. And now we're going to write the definition. And intends is to design for a purpose. To design. Sorry, that doesn't look like a G for a purpose. Okay, number four is, I'm gonna let you kind of do the rest on your own because I think it's pretty clear. Number four is gonna be the definition for mention. It's a verb, and so it's gonna go down here, right? And also on this, it says parts of speech and synonyms. So the synonym for citizen is a civilian. So I'm writing the synonym. I just put a little slash mark. The synonym for number two, number two is comfort. So the synonym is assuage. The synonym for number three, it's intends. And so the synonym is disposition. The synonym for number four is mention. And that means remark. Right, so I'm just putting all of the synonyms in here. And number five is peculiar. And so peculiar is gonna be unique. The synonym for number six, number six is positive. So the synonym is confident. The synonym for number seven is resident. It's abide. And the synonym for eight is talent. And so talent, the synonym is expertise. Again, I'm just looking on, I'm looking on the little picture. You could also look on your vocabulary diamond that you've made. Okay, so I will post the picture and you'll do your vocabulary diamond, so you'll be able to do it from there. And so number eight is talent, and expertise is the synonym. 
Sorry, it's hard for me to film. And I should have filmed this in the classroom, but I didn't have one of these forms in the classroom. So I'm filming it at home on my phone. What I don't want you to do is take all the words and just write them in order like that you see them on the chart. So like talent, then comfort, then mention, right? You have to put them in alphabetical order. If you just put them in the order they are on the pocket chart, you will get all of the whole page wrong, okay? So you, the most important thing is starting out with alphabetical order and I, I like to do it this way. So I made a little chart first and then I figured out which one came first in the alphabet, okay? I had a lot of students last year that would just write, they would get this part wrong, and if you get this part wrong, it means all the rest is gonna be wrong too. And that is kind of a waste of time then if you're gonna get everything wrong, right? So the crucial part is up here. Spend the most amount of time up here, and then this part is easy. You're just copying it off your vocabulary diamond or off of your little pocket chart, okay? All right, hope this helps you fill in your vocabulary word page with the octopus at the top. All righty, fare thee well.